Hi, Hiram here. Last couple of days I've been doing boil tests on this capillary action stove. This is a larger one with a one inch sweet spot between the jets and the bottom of the pot. And I've made a shorter one. I've been doing boil tests with these using my Boy Scout pot, wide base, on like so. And I've had a number of people asking me if I try this with a narrow pot. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to try it with this, <coughs> excuse me, batch stoves, 22 ounce, fluid ounce, ultra light pot. This is a replacement for the people that use foster pots and the old, you know, beer pots. So I'm going to try that on here. Now the thing, I'm not sure how well this will work. The diameter of the pot is uh, 3.18 inches or 80.8 millimeters. The diameter of the stove is 2.25 inches or 57.3 millimeters. If you take the difference between the two, the hangout here on this pot is only going to be about 0.46 inches or about 11.75 millimeters on one side. So for this to work, I'm hoping that the flames come up and then come up the side and heat up the pot. Um, now the other thing you could do with this, this was made, the stove was made with the uh, 7.5 fluid ounce little small Coke cans, little soda cans. You could go and find something smaller like this. This is also a, this is an 8.4 so it actually holds more, but the diameter on this is just a little bit smaller than that. So you could make a stove that was just a little bit smaller and give you more flame contact area on the pot. Again with that though, if you make this narrower, you have to be careful with how tall you make it so that you don't have that tip factor. You could also, I guess, glue this onto some sort of a plate. But I'm going to try it today with this one, my second CAS number two. So let me get some water prepped. I'll get some alcohol in here. And I'll be back for a test. Okay, I've got my water prep, two cups of water sitting at 60 degrees. Okay, let's light this. Room temperature is 70 degrees. There we've got a bloom. Again, two cups of water at 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes. Okay, there we are, a little over two minutes. The temperature was up to about 109 degrees. This is actually heating up faster than what I thought it would, although cold water does heat up faster in the beginning. I think you can see that the flames are hitting the bottom of the pot a little bit and then going up the side about that high. I ah, forgot to reset this. So it's doing a decent flame on the side here and I think that's where it's getting most of its heat from the side of the pot. So let's see how long it takes for this to get to boiling and then how long for run out. Here we have 210, 211, 212 in 5 minutes 15 seconds. Not too bad. So again that was 2 cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a boil in 5 minutes 15 seconds. Let's see how long it takes for run out now. And there we have run out, let's say, at six, I just looked away, six minutes, two seconds, let's say. I'll have to check back on uh, the video or I'll get a discrepancy call by Mato Nupai. So, just checking my other, okay, so what I was doing was, boy, that looks tilted, um, checking my other data that I had. So on this one, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 5 minutes 15 seconds and then ran out at about 6. Eh. Before, when I did it with the Boy Scout pot like so, that is leaning, isn't it? Hmm. When I did it with the Boy Scout pot, that was two cups of water came to a boil in 6 minutes 18 seconds. 
So it took a little bit longer, but it wasn't as bad as what I thought it might be. Again, you might be able to get away from, around this by using a smaller can for making this stove. Smaller diameter can. That does look like it's leaning a little bit. Hmm. Okay, so I hope that helps. Those that were asking for the narrow pot on this, like I said, it wasn't as bad as what I thought it might be. It wasn't too, too bad, although it ran out fast. So, I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.